The trial of an autistic teenager shocked and restrained for hours resuming today with some heated testimony. Fox Center covers Mike Bodette broke this story and he's here now with the very latest from court. Mike. Mark, the Judge Rotenberg Center's lawyers are trying to convince the jury that staffers were doing the best they could with Andre McCollins, who they portray as a troubled and aggressive teenager. The Rotenberg Center says it was using electric shocks to treat McCollins only because other treatments, including drugs, weren't working. But McCollins is suing the center, saying the 31 shocks he received in the classroom that day in 2002 left him permanently damaged. The jury watched video of five of these shocks as a Rotenberg psychologist described what was happening. We were trying to keep everybody safe, keep Andre safe and keep everybody around him in the classroom and everybody to immobilize him, to prevent him from engaging in behavior that was really uh, very dangerous to, to people around him. The jury has already seen the video of when McCollins was first shocked inside that classroom after refusing an order to take off his jacket. McCollins attorney, Ben Novotny, asked the Rotenberg Center doctor whether the whole ordeal was even necessary. Did you ever ask Andre, why didn't you want to take off your jacket that morning? No. You think maybe he was cold and maybe that's why he wanted to keep his jacket on? I don't know. I wasn't in the classroom at the time. And as a result of not wanting to take his jacket off, that's how this entire event, that's how it started on the 25th, isn't it, Doctor? No. Dr. Riley went on to say that the event started before McCollins got to class when he assaulted a staff member on a bus. The defense will continue to present its case on Wednesday as testimony continues in Norfolk Superior Court. Doc? Mike, we keep hearing about how a court approved this treatment plan right here. What else has come out about that? Well, that's a big part of the Rotenberg Center's defense to say, yes, a court approved everything that happened that day. These orders come from the probate court, which must approve the use of these shocks on every student getting them, including Andre McCollins. But there were some tough questions from the plaintiff's attorney today for the psychologist who asked the court to approve these shocks about whether he really knew Andre well enough or if he was just using a boilerplate document prepared by someone else to get the judge's approval. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.